Hey students, how are you? Um, as part of this new distance learning um, brought on by the COVID-19 virus, um, something beautiful is happening. And that is that I'm able to reach you through um, this online technology. So I'm reaching more of you in a different way. And I've decided to do a word of the week. So my first word is the one that I need the most and um, maybe many of us do. And it's mindfulness. So what does mindfulness mean? Well, there's not just one definition, and I'm certainly not uh, a teacher of mindfulness. Well, I am a teacher, so um, I think of mindfulness as using our mind and our body to stay in a calm place. Okay, so um, we can so we can remain calm when even when things are crazy around us um so uh i i personally i have a mindfulness practice that i do every day and i say practice because this is something just like anything you want to get good at you have to practice it um um, so I think of mindfulness, you know, as using our mind and our body to, to stay calm. And so some of the ways that we can do that is to set out some time every day to be still and quiet. Um, I do it every day in the morning as soon as I get up, but, uh, you might find a different time of the day that works for you. Uh, I like to start my day off that way. It helps me to be the, more of the person I want to be in, in the world. So, um, but everyone's different. So, um, you don't have to just do it once a day either. We hope that with with a lot of practice, we can do it all the time. We can be mindful all the time. Um, one of the ways that we can become mindful when we're still and quiet is to focus on our breathing. We're so lucky to be breathing. We're so fortunate to be breathing. And um, that's something we can, we can just close our eyes. Take in a deep breath through our nose. Let it out through our mouth. That resets our nervous system and helps us to become calmer. So let's try just three breaths together, okay? I feel so much calmer already. It's so beautiful. So um, sometimes, in, a, in addition to breathing, and I, I use this particularly if I'm having a hard time um, not reacting to something that's happening in the outside of <laughs> or internally, um, I might think of um, a place that I really, sorry, my phone's blinking and beeping. Um, I, I might think of a place that is calming to me um, or that it makes me feel really calm. And the place that I think of the most is, uh, is um, out the ocean. I like to sit on the sand and uh, sit in front of the ocean even any time of the year when it's cold and windy or rainy or warm and 
kind of like the fog and, you know, any time. And I think of the ocean right here in my mind. Just see that beautiful, beautiful place. Um, and I, I, I think of myself being there. Use my imagination. We can use our imaginations for really, really wonderful things. So if you can see yourself in a beautiful place that's very calm, Sometimes I, I see myself sitting on some grass by a beautiful spring or, or um, a beautiful brook. So that's another nice one that I like. Um, so you can take a few minutes to do that as well. We can do amazing things with our imagination. We can, we can pretty much just rewrite our whole self with our imagination. So... Um, also, in our mindfulness practice, we need to be mindful of what we put inside our body. So, drinking lots of clean water every day, um, putting lots of healthy food in our body. I just drank this green juice. It was so good. Um, and stay away from the sugar if you can. Um, because that, that makes us feel kind of ugh, inside. And uh, so, yeah, every, every food and everything we put in our body makes us feel either better or worse. So I want to put stuff in my body that makes me feel better. Um, that's part of my mindfulness practice. So uh, let's see. Um, I'm looking at my notes to make sure I include everything I want to include. Um, so again, my mindfulness takes practice. That's why we call it a mindfulness practice. <laughs> we got to practice to get good at stuff. Um, we can stay, what are, what are some of the reasons we, we would want to be mindful? Um, one of them is that I stay stronger. I stay stronger when I'm mindful. I feel stronger in my life. I feel stronger in myself. I feel stronger in my body when I stay mindful. Um, and even when things are pretty weird, like they are right now, shelter in place, pretty weird. <laughs> um, I can stay. I can stay mindful and strong. Another reason we might want to stay mindful is because we can be a good example to others. Um, they might not be in the same place that we are when we're calm. And uh, they might notice, wow, that person is really calm. What's going on there? I want to be more like that. So we can be a good example to others. Um, we can be more patient with those around us. We can be more patient with, with ourselves. If we have a lot to do, say we're doing online school or you know, maybe if we're adults, maybe we have um, stress at work or, you know, maybe we're out of a job and we're looking for work, um, trying to take care of our families. Um, we can uh, we can become more patient with that process and with ourselves when we're mindful. And finally, um, when we're mindful, we can actually be more aware of how other people are feeling as well. Um, some of my students in particular are working on this, these kind of skills where we're trying to get inside the ideas of others and um, take the perspective of others. So that's something that mindfulness can really help with too. Um, how's this other person feeling? Um, if I'm strong in myself, I'm not going to take their actions personally if you know if if um if they're having a hard time so again um let's practice okay let's uh take some time i'm i'm going to sign off I'll let you practice on your own but just take take start with 5 minutes every day pick 5 minutes 5 minutes out of your entire day as i don't have the math right now but that's it's not a very big part of your day, but it can be a, the most important part of your day. Okay? Take that time. Close your eyes. Breathe. Maybe visualize that beautiful place. Be with yourself. Notice what's going on in your body. 
if the, if you hear sounds, that's okay. Sounds go floating by like little clouds. Thoughts go floating by like little clouds. It's okay. Yeah, just notice what's going on and be okay with it. All of your feelings are okay. All right? Okay, this is Miss Serene signing off. Hope you guys have a wonderful day.